Hi, New Life. My name is Kelsey. I've been attending since February of 2022, and this is my New Life story. So I grew up in Oklahoma um, in a very, like, churched home. As I grew up, I learned so much about the Lord and, you know, the way that He loves us and really saw a lot of reflection of His love in my own home, which I'm super grateful for. And then after high school, I went to college in Western Oklahoma, so pretty similar to like the place that I grew up. So not that much different from like a cultural standpoint. Like my friends were still mostly Christian. Most of the world around me followed and knew Jesus um, to one degree or another. And then in college, I studied pharmacy. So after that there's like a point where you decide if you're going to enter the workforce or do more like postgraduate education. And I matched in Brooklyn, New York. So I was moving from Oklahoma to Brooklyn and that was kind of like the first big cultural change for me in my life. And that was really, really cool. I loved living in New York. I loved the people, the pace. Um, my job was really cool. But the thing that was so shockingly different to me was that I was no longer immersed in a Christian culture. People in New York are choosing to be Christians. Not that we're not choosing to be Christians here, but it's just so countercultural there, I feel like. Um, so it, it's really a decision. It's not um, a go with the flow kind of thing. They were choosing to live life a certain way and they were choosing to believe things that were different than what people around them believed. Um, so it was much more of a, a choice and an intentional decision. So I think the Lord really grew me that year in you know, opening my eyes to, is this something that you're gonna do because it's easy or is this something that you're gonna do because you've made this intentional choice for the rest of your life and so that was really neat to see I think just it was really eye-opening too to see what it means to be a Christian in a culture that isn't majority Christian um, and what that looks like in the way that you respond to people the way that you love people um, the way that people love you I don't know, just kind of like your day-to-day -day interactions with people, it feels like it means a lot more because you might be the only person that claims Christianity that they encounter in a large chunk of time. So yeah, we got back to Kansas City um, in 2020, my first time here, Taylor's second time, um, and we were kind of looking for churches, but it was just like with everything happening with COVID, we found a place, but then we really struggled to like get plugged in. So we were doing like a lot of virtual stuff, a lot of in-person stuff. I think church got to a point for us that it was not, it was not something that we were passionate about anymore, something that we wanted to do anymore. Um, but like, as I said, like I knew that, you know, so much of Christianity is like a choice and like continue to walk even when you don't maybe want to or feel like it. Um, and it was really easy when we got here. Um, everybody was super welcoming. I think we waited maybe a semester before actually like joining formally a small group, but that has been probably the best thing that has happened to our, our walk with Christ. Um, yeah, I'm just super grateful for it. Um, I, I want to be here on Sunday. I, I want to be in church now. Um, it was just like so much of what we were looking for, I think, and being able to find that in new life um, has been really beautiful.